Well, hello to all my fourth grade friends in the Mound West Tonka School District. It is I, Mr. Brett. This is week four in our adventures in water. Now, a couple weeks ago, we wandered around my neighborhood looking for water, and behind me is one of the ponds that we saw, and I said that in a couple weeks, we were gonna find out what was living in this pond. Well, today is that day. I've got some equipment. Let's get started. All right, first things first, need to get some water in my bucket here. Now, as I'm doing this, of course, I don't have my greatest shoes on because I might get a little wet, but trying to be as careful as I can getting water in here. I will probably catch some stuff just by scooping in the water like that. And already I see a leech in here, oh, amazing. Now I'm gonna use my net, see what kind of cool things I can find with this. All right, so here's some water from the pond, and I've got it in a small little glass dish on top of a light table so it's easier to see, and a couple things jump out right away. Those two worm-like things, those are leeches. Leeches can live in water that isn't all that clean. So if all I would have found in there were some leeches and a couple little teeny tiny specks moving around, probably tells me my water's not in all that great of shape. However, that large six-legged thing at the bottom of the screen is, in fact, a dragonfly nymph. Basically a dragonfly baby. They need far cleaner water. So finding that in this pond lets me know it's a good indication that this pond is in some pretty good shape. Now, if we look closely, we may even see some small little dots moving around here and there, which let's be honest, most of the stuff in the pond is teeny tiny. To look at that, I've got a microscope with a camera attached to it so we can get a closer look. So this is a damselfly nymph. Damselflies are related to the dragonflies, and as a damselfly nymph, it is a baby. I mean, nymphs are like larvae, how our larvas are basically look like little worm type caterpillar things. Nymphs look like smaller versions of the adult. You can see here is its head on either side of the two black eye spots. You can count, there are six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we follow along its abdomen, we have these weird feather-like extensions on the end. These are as external gills. It's different than the dragonfly who have internal gills, but this is how it breathes underwater. Uh, damselflies and dragonflies are one of the predators in the insect world in the pond. Now, this is a rather small one. They usually are bigger than this. Also, finding this, damselflies and dragonflies tend to be good indicators that we have a relatively healthy pond on our hands. So this is a copepod, one of these small, teeny tiny crustaceans that live in the pond. It's a crustacean that has more than six legs, um, small little one, and you can actually see here, this one is a female. These two large oval-shaped blobs are her egg sacs. Um, crazy cool thing about so many of these teeny tiny little invertebrates that live in the pond, their exoskeleton is often transparent so we can see inside and you can see that slow pulsating of her digestive system uh, as it moves food throughout her body. So this is a Daphnia or a water flea. If you think about the period at the end of a sentence, this is about how big she is. Um, it is a crustacean, it is not an insect. However, lots of crustaceans live, and let's be honest, most of the crustaceans live in the water. Up front here, that dark little circle is her eye spot. Just along her back, this clear area, in and amongst all the darkness, if you look, you can see that pulsating. That is her heart, the center of her circulatory system in her body. If we follow along her back, you'll notice these yellowish kind of orbs. She's carrying eggs. Uh, next to that is a long kind of darkish tube. As a teeny tiny water flea, she has one entry and one exit. So actually it looks, bonus, she has recently gone to the bathroom. Uh, she is a filter feeder. She will take her little legs and we can kind of see them moving a little bit in there. She will create a current of water that goes past her face and she'll pick any sort of debris, plant, animal, out of the water. So even so, also not just important in the food chain, but one of the cleaners of the pond as well. So here is an even smaller Daphne than the one we just saw. I mean, this teeny tiny little speck in the water, so unbelievably important. Sure, it's so tiny. However, without it, things like Osprey wouldn't exist. Osprey, those big hawk-like 
raptors that only eat fish. Well, the fish that they're eating are eating smaller fish that are eating smaller fish that are eating bugs that are eating smaller bugs that are eating this teeny tiny thing here. This little Daphnia doesn't exist. Neither does the osprey. Well, I'm back at the pond here to release all of those cool little critters that we got to take a peek at. I hope you get a chance to maybe do something like this near your house, in your neighborhood. Again, make sure you're with your parents. Be safe. Uh, and then, really, until we see each other again next time, get outside. Goodbye, my friends. Thanks for letting us learn and explore the pond. Good luck this summer. See you later. Even the leeches are gone.